Hi folks, how are we doing? If you were wondering why I was lagging, this computer was lagging with me. Uh, so we're back for our third review today. Uh, the beer in question is Clown Shoes Supa Hero. Oh boy. You have to say it like Supa Hero. <laughs> it's because they're in Ipswich, Massachusetts. Which works out today because I'm wearing a Red Sox shirt. I'm a fan of them. Don't judge me too harshly. Uh, so let's start by getting this beer open. See how uh, see how it tastes. This and is an IPA. Beer. The the reason we made it a point to talk about the the Boston and the heavy accent is because there's actually a little story on it, and they write it like a Bostoner speaks with the. Big A's and the ah. Uh, is it eh. <laughs> She's from New York, so I judge her heavily on a regular I, basis. I don't know how to do it. Basically, we lose the we gain an A, lose the R, gain an R when there's not supposed to be an R. Uh, so basically, ca. Okay, got it. Good. But then like er when there's supposed to be an A. Read the story on the bottle. I'm not reading. If that. you get the bottle, not you, oh. but you. People of the internet. Here, pour some more for yourself. If you get this bottle from Clown Shoes, superhero, read the story. Nice copper color. Good head. Me, 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 me. And it also is a little hazy, which I like. Definitely got the hoppy bitterness going on here. So we're right on schedule here for what a good IPA should be. Yep. You know what I always wondered? There you go. Very tasty. I always wondered, why is it India Pale Ale? It is India Pale Ale because they would add hops. From India? No, it's because it would travel the distance one way or another, from India to England or India back, and the hops would preserve it because the long traveling would spoil the beer if it didn't have the hops. Hops being a preservative... So, when they started doing that, they also started realizing that the hops, especially when you add that much, change the flavor of it, and hence you have the India Pale Ale. Never knew why India was in it. That's why. And if I screwed up any stat, which is definitely possible, I will change that on there. But uh, that's the story, and I'm sticking to it for the moment. It's basically adding a bunch of hops because of the distance of the ships having to travel. Got preserves it. it. Got Done. It. And adds a floral, bitter... It's very happy smelling. Yes. I know you're not a huge fan of that, but it's good stuff. It's actually not blow your brain out happy, though, when you taste it. No, no, not at all. Which I like. It's, it should be a little balanced. Uh, everything doesn't have to be a, a plenty of the younger, where just you drink it and your brain comes out your ear. Yeah, like, some hoppy beers, like, physically hurt me to drink them. This one's pretty balanced. I like it. Uh, yeah. Clown Shoes has been out. It's a pretty new brewery, uh, if you haven't heard of them. Uh, they're good. Love their art. Funny. It's funny stuff. It is funny. Um, we have another one coming up, Vampire Slayer, that we're going to do one on probably sometime this week. So, they have a bunch of beers. We've had most of them, and they're all yeah, really, really we good. Yeah, we get Clown Shoes because we're in Maine, so. Good price. Uh, good quality beer. Uh, follow those guys quite a bit. As far as I've seen, they're awesome they're dudes. Super funny. So, yep. It, there you go. Their bottles are hilarious. Yep. So today will be the first day that I've decided to uh, match up this particular beer, Clown Shoes Superhero, with a band. Uh, we'll put all the stuff on the bottom of it. The band I'm choosing for today is Torch. Now I have the little description over here, which is uh, a stoner metal, stoner rock kind of band. They're awesome. The two albums I would suggest you listen to uh, is Songs for Singles, which is fantastic. I liked it a lot. And also In Return. So Torch the Band, look them up. Uh, Songs for Singles and In Return. Both, I think, are great albums to listen to. Uh, definitely have some melodic moments, but definitely have some jump around, have a good time, naked in your basement sounds. So, I think that would be what a great pair. What does that pair. sound like? 
It sounds awesome. No, but like, can you make that sound? I wouldn't want to try to infringe on what they're going to listen to. Is that how they describe their sound? No, I kind of did it for them, so oh. they might not like me after that. Or maybe they will. Maybe they think I'm awesome. I believe the band is out of Miami, uh, and they've been around for a little bit. So, yeah, pair this beer up, turn it up real loud, dance around, and drink this beer, and see how that pairing goes. Uh, and from now on, I'm going to try to start listening to newer bands that maybe you have or have not heard of, and put it to a beer. And see if it works. And if you Maybe. decide to try it, you tell me what you do. They might be more apt to dance around after they've had. Yeah, this is eight. Per, this is eight percent. So if you yeah. get a bottle or two, and they're always good pricing wise in the store, they're always like five ninety nine or something like that. You get two bottles of this, listen to those records, and it'll be a good time. I, yeah. uh, I think it'll be a great time. So you should probably do that. I've already done it, and I thought it was fantastic. She or not, me, but. you could just drink the beer. Drink it and have a great time. You're so, yeah. A great time right now. You should be. And I'm not dancing around. I had a better time. Okay. So, there we go. This is uh, Clown Shoes Superhero India Pale Ale. And Torch the Band, listen to him. And uh, hope you have a good day. And we'll yeah. see you soon. Oh, living on a beer budget. Lisa, Tom, have to say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can work any person. Okay. All right, bye. <laughs>